This video will give you yet another way to do mental math. Um, the traditional paper and pencil algorithm is the least effective way to do mental math and uh, to tell you the truth, that is the way I used to try to do it in my head, um, putting these two numbers over these two and then borrowing, carrying, whatever I had to do in my head and oh, that's a lot for your working memory. Um, so not very effective. Um, this one is one of the methods and there are a whole lot more. You can check them out on my mental math pages at www.educationunboxed.com. So let's start off with 19 plus 22. Um, what we're going to do is think, well, what's close to 19 that I would rather add? Because 19 is kind of an ugly number to add. So um, I think I would rather add 20 because that's a nice round number. So I'm going to add a little one here. So I can add 20 plus 22 nice and easily. That's just 42, right? But I didn't want to add 20. I only wanted to add 19. So since I had added this 1 here, I have to take away a 1 from my final answer. So 42 minus 1 is 41. 27 plus 15. Um, it's going to be a lot easier if I could add 30 plus 15. So I'm going to add 30 plus 15 instead. So I'll add the 3 there, 27 plus 3 to make that 30. Okay, so now 30 plus 15, nice and easy, that's just 45. But I didn't actually need to add 30 plus 15, I only wanted to add 27 plus 15. So I need to subtract 3, because I already added 3 here. So I'm going to subtract 3. And 45 minus 3 is 42. 13 plus 18. Uh, I think I would rather add 13 plus 20. So I'm going to take 2 and add it to the 18 and make that 20. Because that's nice and easy. 13 plus 20 is 33. But, uh, well, I added the 2 there, so now I have to remember to take it away. And so 33 minus 2 is 31. All right, 47 plus 38. Oh, that looks kind of ugly. So I think I would rather do, how about 47 plus 40? Because 40 is pretty close to 38. So um, let's just add this little 2 here to make that a 40. So now I have 47 plus 40. Well, that's easy enough. 47 plus 40 is 87. But I have to remember, I added 2 here, so I have to take 2 away. So, 87 minus 2 is 85. Alright, let's try this with subtraction. 52 minus 24. Um, I think I would rather do 50 minus 24. That's a little bit easier. So, uh, I'm going to just move my 2 up here for a minute. And um, I'm going to do 50 minus 24. So first 50 minus 20, well that's easy, that's 30. And then 30 minus 4, I can just take the 4 out of one of the 10s and I will have 6. So 30 minus 4 is 26. And then I still have this 2 here. So 26 plus 2 is 28. All right, here's 63 minus 45. Um, I think I would rather do 60 minus 45. That would be a little bit easier. So I'm just going to remember I have this 3, but leave them up there for now. So 60 minus 45. Well, I can do 60 minus 40. Okay, so I'll take away 40. And 60 minus 40 is 20. And then I still have to do 20 minus 5. So 20 minus 5, I can take the 5 away from this 10. And that leaves me with 5. So 20 minus 5 is 15. But I still have this little 3 hanging out here. I have to add him back in. Don't forget about him. And that is 15 plus 3, so 18. All right, 36 minus 19. Well, I think I would rather do 36 minus 20. That's a lot easier. So 
I'm just going to put a little 1 here, and I'm going to take away 20 instead of 19. So 36 minus 20 is 16. But what about that little 1? I took away 1 too many, didn't I? So I need to add that 1 back in. So the answer is 17. All right, last one, 84 minus 38. I think I would rather do 84 minus 40. So instead of subtracting 38, I'm going to subtract 40. But I'll have to remember to add this back in when I'm done. So 84 minus 40, I'll take that away. But then I need to add the 2 back in so that I have 44 plus 2, which is 46.